Hi guys, for today, it will be the Adidas Tecumisen 8. I bought the shoe with my own credits. US size 10, it weighs 197 grams or 7 ounce, a light shoe. Going to the specs, the upper is made up of a plasticky material. I think a cellar mesh, cellar mesh uh, 2.0, like the Adidas Ultra Boost PB. Single layer and quite breathable. The tongue is gasseted somewhat up to here. The laces is long and thin. There's a runner's hole. I'm not sure if you can see it. The heel collar is flimsy, okay? This uh only a small portion of padding here. The insole is glued to the midsole. Can't remove it. Going to the midsole is a full length uh, light strike pro. Comparing with the Adidas Pro 3, this is only half of it, I believe. And between it is carbon rods. Meta tarsals, like a fit for your feet. Not carbon, not carbon, carbon uh, material, carbon fiber material. Going to the outsole, there's a continental rubber here, but I'm not sure if this is continental rubber. This is only a, a thin rubber here. You can see the rods, and also here. Going to the fit, this is uh, white wood friendly and does it need a break-in period? I believe so, maybe just two days. Going to the pros and cons, the pros is really light, okay. This is for your uh, 5k and 10k runs, speed runs, not slow pace runs. The upper is uh, really breathable and fit, a good fit. No heel slippage. The midsole is a bit bouncy. Okay. The outsole. The outsole durability. I'm not sure that the, the durability on this part here, but here it's really thick. So I'm guessing only 300 kilometers for a good uh, speed runs. Going to the cons. The cons is the same problem with the Boston 10 and 11. When you put your feet, your feet inside, it's a challenge, okay? I'm not sure why they just made that kind of move. The tongue is uh, stitched, so it's not really stretchy. Um, okay, so this is only for uh, forefoot and midfoot strikers, not for heel strikers. one of the cons there's so many holes here okay it's a racing sh shoe and the uh, ceiling on this on the forefoot area here is a bit low because it's a uh, a tempo shoe a real uh, ground feel ground feeling shoe who are these shoes competitors new balance rebel v3 uh, nike strict fly is there on uh, Puma? Electric if I know. Sokoni. Not through the Sokoni. A6 Tethered, I believe. I'm not sure. A6 Echo Light Speed, no. Magic Speed. I'm not sure. So, do I recommend this shoe? Yes, I do. For your fast paced trainings, I've only used this for about 30 kilometers now. Five, uh, two five kilometer and two 10 kilometer runs. I'm not, I, I didn't really enjoy it that much, but it's okay because the bounce here isn't the same with the, with the Adios Pro 3. You really need to run fast to feel the bounce. 
maybe four kilometer, uh, four, four minute, per, four minute per kilometer pace to be able to feel the the bounciness and snap back. So there's already a version two of uh, Tecumseh nine. It's only an an upper improvement, okay? Only the upper, same same midsole and outsole. So I'll just have to wait for the for the ten, and let's see if there's improvement. I want more improvement on the on how you put your feet inside, and I think more bounciness on the forefoot. So, uh, did I say the millimeter drop? The millimeter drop is uh, a six millimeter drop from heel to toe. Thirty-three on the heel. So, that's it, guys. If you like the video, find click the like button, subscribe, and comment. And thank you again.